Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'd like to say hello and welcome to Registered Dietitian Nutritionist, Katie Mulligan. How are you today? Good, thanks. Good. Thank you so much for joining us. Katie is the owner of Well Family Nutrition Coaching. Her business, in her business, she helps parents navigate the world of childhood nutrition. So you do a lot of family work. I so do. we're going to help talk to you uh, about navigating your way through the holidays and right. eating healthy for both you and your family. So we're going to get to that. The holidays are super fun for so many reasons. There's a lot of activities and stuff going on, but there's also the opportunity to eat a lot of delicious foods. Mm -hmm. And with that <laughs> can come a lot of challenges. So Katie's here to help us survive the holidays. So Katie, with holidays comes the opportunity to eat sweet, savory, delicious, fattening, <laughs> scrumptious foods. Talk to us just a little bit about why the holidays can be so challenging for so many people. Yeah, well, it's because of all those parties, right? And it's not just one or two. You have parties with your family, your friends, um, at your children's school, at your workplace. So it seems like they're never ending. So that's why they can be so challenging. And all those parties come with food and drinks that are usually very rich and very decadent and um, hard to say no to. <laughs> Definitely difficult to say no to. So, and, and there's so many different ways to look at this, but one thing that some people can often think about or talk about is that when it comes to the holidays, people might think of weight gain during this time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is that a true thing? Does that really happen? It does. There's actually been research in this area. So Americans tend to gain about two pounds during the holidays, which in the research was only Christmas and New Year's, so wow. they didn't include the Thanksgiving holiday. So two pounds might sound like a lot, not a lot, but when you um, don't lose that weight, which Americans tend to not lose the two pounds, and it adds up over the years, now we're talking about a significant amount of weight gain, which then can cause some health problems. Yeah, because that definitely can put stress on your body in multiple ways. It can. Yes. Okay, so we're going to, again, help you. This isn't supposed to be a sad talk. This is right. supposed to be a happy, fun, <laughs> uplifting talk, and we're going to help you survive the holidays in so many ways. So what are some good strategies? If we're, if we're headed out, we have a bunch of parties planned, or we're headed out, uh, what are some good strategies, maybe overall, to help us get through the holiday season? Right. Well, I like to just be ready for the parties by having my meals that I eat at home planned. So I know that I'm going to have nice, rich, decadent foods at the parties. So when I get home, I want to have healthy foods. So I plan healthy meals. The holidays is not the time to be going out and ordering pizza or going out to eat because you want to save those calories for when you're with your family and friends and you're eating and drinking those, the foods that are at the parties. Um, there's also just things like making sure that you're um, eating off of plates that are the appropriate size. Oh, so that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, sometimes if I go to a holiday party and I realize that I'm standing at the hors d'oeuvre table and I haven't moved and I'm just eating and eating, that's a time when I can cue myself into say, get yourself a plate, plate your food and go and sit down. And once you have food on the plate and you've taken a few minutes to focus on your eating, now you're sitting, you're probably engaged in conversation with the people next to you chances are you're not gonna go back up to that hors d'oeuvre table and help yourself to more food. Now you're comfortable, you're talking to people, and now you're enjoying the real reason for being at the party, which is to catch up with family and friends. I, I love that idea. So you brought some plates yeah, with us today, yeah. so let's, let's show some of these. So I brought some festive <laughs> plates here. So we have our 11 inch, which is the one we don't recommend. Okay, that actually, it looks fine when it's by itself, but when you show us the other ones, it looks Giant. Yeah. <laughs> so the 11 inch, and then I have um, a 9 inch here. Yeah, and that's normal. Normal. That's yep. So we're going to recommend that you eat your dinner off of a 9 inch. Okay. But then the 7 inch for your appetizers, definitely. You don't want to go any bigger than a 7 inch. And they even have smaller than this. Okay. And the reason why is because when you switch from an 11 inch to a 9 inch plate, you can save yourself about 16% of your calories. Wow. Now, on a typical holiday meal, which is about 3,000 calories, 16% is 480 calories. That's a lot of calories. So um, going over that many calories is about a pound of weight gain a week. So you can see how it adds up. So eat off the smaller plates and then plate your food and sit down and focus on eating and then join the party and be there for the real reason, which is, you know, talking with friends and family. You know, I love this idea. I love of focusing on a smaller plate size. And then you and I have talked about, I've talked with Cher about this, is really focusing on filling up your plate with 
veggies or yeah. salad or whatever those <laughs> those dense nutritious foods you know don't fill it up with a million gingerbread cookies and candies and whatever else I mean you can enjoy those but if you fill it up with with those healthy dense nutritious foods then it's going to get you longer make you feel fuller and help you get through the party to socialize right. and help you get through the day and you'll feel better right um, exactly I've, I've worked on practicing this and I always feel better yeah I don't I don't feel terrible when I leave dinner get up from the table or, or you know leave the yeah. party or whatever you, you don't end feel up better. in that in that food coma <laughs> yeah. that happens at the end of parties right but you do want to be able to enjoy some of those from yeah. some of your favorite holiday foods and I say enjoy your absolute favorites don't go for just for everything if you see something that you know you really love go for that um, and enjoy it and savor it but leave the stuff that you're kind of a little lukewarm about uh, you know don't waste your calories there I think that's a super smart idea so if you have if there's an assortment of desserts or goodies or whatever or you know like cheesy potatoes there's an assortment <laughs> of potato dishes <laughs> maybe maybe instead of doing the buffet Mm -hmm. filling up your plate with everything with those um, try just the ones that you like just the ones you like and another tip that I have is bring the healthy dish of course as a dietitian I get lots of eye rolls from my family <laughs> when I walk in with a healthy oh, dish oh here comes Katie exactly oh. <laughs> but the healthy dish really can um, shine on your table it can be a beautiful presentation um, so at Thanksgiving I did a crudite platter with some remoulade and it was delicious and I got lots of compliments on it and all the veggies went I've done a Moroccan spice pear with carrots, Ooh, um, that, and that was delicious, and a Thanksgiving slaw, which people have actually asked me for the recipe for. So bring the healthy dish. You're not the only one at your party that's going to be happy to see something healthy on the holiday table. Well, sometimes, too, you know when you're, when you're eating a bunch of really heavy foods, you start your body starts craving something <laughs> like a vegetable yeah, exactly. or something You're right, it delicious. Does. You know, like yeah, kind of crisp and cold and refreshing. Yeah, after you know you go on a road trip and you eat a bunch of junk, I'm always like, oh, I need a carrot right yeah. now. <laughs> Just give me a salad, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you can be the 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 savior that brings the healthy dish, and hey, if uh. If no one eats it, then you get to take it home and you have that healthy meal for later. Right? Exactly. Why not? Yep. Bonus, yep. right? <laughs> okay, so those are some good strategies. So we talked about um, we talked about in, enjoying these foods. Um, let's talk a little bit about what you can do, and, and we'll continue that discussion. Let's talk a little bit about kids because you do work okay. with families. You are working mm -hmm. with children. This can be a very exciting time for kids, yeah. right? I mean, it's an exciting <laughs> time for adults. But with the holiday parties for adults headed out and about comes holiday parties for kids. And then, of course, so there's candy canes, there's cookies, there's all kinds of stuff. What are some tools or some strategies that you have for parents if their kids are out at school and getting cookies? You know, they're going to a friend's house, they're going, standing in line for pictures, and yeah. there's candy canes. What are some tools or strategies that you have to uh, watch what their children are eating? Yeah, that can definitely be a challenging time for parents. So what I recommend is leaving, keeping those treats at the events. So instead of um, having treats at home, tell your kids that they can have those treats when they get to the events. So if your kids are coming home saying, Mom, can we have cookies for dessert tonight? No, honey, we're going to your party at school tomorrow night. Remember, we're going to have cookies there. So skip the Chips Ahoy and the Oreo cookies and the ice cream during the holidays at home and allow your kids to enjoy those treats when they go out in there at the parties. And then you'll save yourself from those awkward public fights with your children having to say, haven't you had too many cookies, honey, or something along those lines. Um, and then there's just, you know, the way you, there's a time and a place for teaching children about treats. Um, when you're out at pu in public at a party, it's probably not the right time, but you can certainly have that conversation at home with your kids. You know, honey, treats are delicious. We enjoy them sometimes, um, but we make sure that we have them not too often, you know, in moderation, but you might not want to use the word moderation with your kids <laughs> every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> every once in a while, I like that. Um, and, and with that also comes the drinks. So whether you're talking about adults or you're talking about children, mm -hmm. this time of year provides a lot of delicious drinks as well. Mm -hmm. So you have anything from eggnog to hot cocoa to cider. Yeah. And then you have, of course, if you're adult, you have alcoholic drinks that can also add yep. in a ton of Cocktails. calories as well. Uh, when you're looking at whether it's for your children, can I have a hot cocoa and then mm -hmm. marshmallows and whipped cream, or or adults too, because who doesn't like hot cocoa, yeah. right? Or if you're looking at at uh, maybe an adult beverage of some sort, um, what do we need to be thinking about if we're consuming a type of beverage? Well, I would say the same thing. Save those for the parties. 
So if you're at home, you should be drinking water. You should be drinking low calorie beverages and save the more um, calorie rich drinks um, like the cocoa, like the cocktails for when you're going out, out at parties. Um, and if you're an adult, um, what I recommend is um, having water in between every cocktail. Um, it's going to slow you down. So slow down the effects of the alcohol, of course, which is a good thing, but also it'll keep your calories in check. So, um, and then at home, stick with water, you know, low fat milk for the kids, but then let them have those, you know, enjoyable treat drinks when you're out at parties. I think definitely going about it as a special treat rather than oh, we're just doing something, so you get a hot cocoa every time we go out, too. Exactly. You know, don't, don't buy the eggnog in the supermarket and bring it home to have in your fridge every day. The eggnog is a great treat to have when you go to that holiday party. Okay. All right. Words to live by, because I definitely <laughs> can indulge in non-dairy eggnog this time of year. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. <laughs> Our words to live by. Okay, so as we just continue to uh, work better, we've talked about plate size. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what else is a little bit difficult? If we're eating all these goodies, whether filling up on the holiday treats, it can also be a little bit difficult just to get up and stay motivated this time of year and keep up our energy. But you say yeah. it's really important just to keep moving and incorporate exercise into our lives. Oh my goodness, it can be so hard. This is one of my biggest challenges is to keep moving when the days are shorter and colder. Um, but st keeping exercising on a daily basis really does give you the energy you need to get through the holiday season and to stay in good spirits. Um, and um, exercise has been proven to lift your mood and to actually help ward off depression. Yeah. So you do want to keep moving. So 30 minutes a day is all we're asking, as much as you can. Get out there with your kids by yourself. Go for that extra walk. You know, bring your flashlight and your reflective vest if you need to. And get out there a little bit more often. Try not to skip the gym. And I have kids, as you know, we've discussed this, and I like to do active outings in the holiday um, around the winter season. So we're not going to go out to dinner or to the movies. We're going to go to the ice skating rink or the trampoline park. Oh, great. Um, yeah. So I try to get them just a little bit more active and having fun while they're doing it. I think those are wonderful activities. <laughs> and, and you mentioned, too, which I think is fun, is getting out on those actual holidays because it's not as busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not as busy. The roads are so quiet. Um, it's such a nice time for reflection, you know, around the holiday season. We're supposed to be kind of reflecting on all that we've been thankful for for the whole year, but just the season gets away from us because we're so busy shopping and cooking and cleaning and hosting. So getting out on the actual holiday, Christmas morning, the roads are quiet, it's a peaceful, it's a beautiful time to be out of doors in nature, and then you can really kind of appreciate the blessings that you have. I think that's one of my favorite kind of traditions for my family is getting out and, and taking a walk, whether it's on whatever holiday. You know, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving was beautiful this year, yeah. so we went to the park and yeah. played with a dog and it was probably the best part of the day. Yeah, exactly. It really, really is. And then it just, it makes you feel better about the apple yeah. pie that you go home and eat and the, and the extra serving of uh, turkey or Christmas ham. Yeah, exactly. Because you're like, oh, I did, a I did a little something today to make myself feel better. So before we let you go, Katie, um, not only do you do this for your business, so people can come visit you at your office, but you're giving a talk coming up in this January on healthy eating. Why don't you fill us in on that? Sure. I'm giving a talk at the Warwick Public Library. It's uh, Saturday, January 13th at 9.30 in the morning. It is called Food Parenting, The Secrets to Feeding Happy and Healthy Kids. Awesome. That's exciting. And so that's just open to the public? Open to the public. Uh, there's only spots for 25 people, okay. though. Um, but they can go to the Warwick Public Library, or they can go to my Facebook page at Well Family Nutrition Coaching and register with the Eventbrite link. Okay, perfect. So we can, she will help you continue your healthy eating after she just helped us survive the holidays. So hopefully those <laughs> strategies were helpful for you. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy holidays to and you. To you too. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone, I hope you hang tight here as we get set up for our next guest on Goal of the Life.